Whoa, it's Optimus Grind from the Classic Gamer. Don't forget to subscribe. We're playing Cubert, one player. It's a multi level game where you're jumping up, down, left, and right on a pyramid like structure to avoid enemies. There's multiple pickups throughout the game. You have, and start with, three lives. You lose them, game over. As you can see, each tile, when it's been landed upon by Qbert, you are activating it. Once all of the tiles have been activated, you move on to the next level. Boom! We see a special, the disc. The UFO disc that flies you back to the top. Strategically, they're great for working down the pyramid. Jump on the disc. Boom! Back to the top. Taking the other direction when the enemies have all came towards you. Uh, very smart play. Very good way to restart the board in a lot of cases and give you a lot of available moves with some distance from your enemies. We see there, I died. Uh, that one was stupid. I'm gonna run a little better here in a second. Oh wait, maybe I'm not off the cliff. Um, let's see what I can do with one life left. Boom, I use a UFO disc, giving myself the top one. And I'm waiting for the snake. The snake is now following me around. I'm actually gonna go back up to the top. He jumps off, boom, I've cleared the board. Now there's only three left. I should be able to pick these up with ease, I hope. Level 3. Uh, the levels, there's not much of a difference. The enemies do change. The colors on the pyramid changes. But basically, this is just a level clearing type game. Um, the enemies do get harder. They do start to have a little better AI. But in short, that's Cubert. I'm Optimus Grind from the Classic Gamer. Like, share, comment, enjoy, subscribe.